Hey everybody, uh, this is Matt Dunk from Murphy Sport Fishing, um, the chef at the Riverside Lodge here in Port Alberni. Um, so today we've got another salmon recipe for you. This one is a coho. Um, so right now we've got some European guests in house and um, they love to eat the fish and uh, unfortunately it's uh, a little tough for them to bring it all the way back to Europe. So we bring it in here and we cook it for them here in house. So tonight's one of our favorite recipes we're going to do. So this is a, it's going to be a salmon salt and boca. So it's a prosciutto caper sage uh, butter sauce and we're going to grill the uh, grill the salmon out on the barbecue and uh, we'll walk you through how to do this right now. Okay so the first step I'm going to do I just like to do this before I start making the sauce I'm just going to season the salmon so just with a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil so I like to use a coarse salt um, and just a little bit of pepper just a nice little mix and then just got a, an olive oil just any olive oil is fine. I just like to cover it, give it a good coating on it. And we're just going to let that sit for a couple minutes while we make our sauce. So first step with the sauce, you want to, um, I like to saute some shallots, which is with a little cube of butter and then add the prosciutto just to get a little bit crispy. So I got a nice hot pan there. It's going to get a nice sear on the shallots. So we just got a nice small dice on the shallots. Probably about two tablespoons or one small shallot. I've got about four pieces of prosciutto and it's just cubed up nice and small again. So you add that in with the, add the prosciutto in with the shallots. It just renders some of the fat, gives a little bit of crispness and you get some of that lovely prosciutto flavor in the base of the sauce. So we're going to let this cook for about two or three minutes. And then we're going to add the capers, the sage, and the rest of the butter. Okay, we've been cooking the prosciutto and the shallot for about two minutes now. So we're going to go ahead and add the capers, the sage, and a little bit more butter. So again, we've got probably, I'd say, about a quarter cup of capers. You want to keep some of the juice in there, some of that brine. It's going to give it a really nice salty flavor. And then about three tablespoons of chopped fresh sage. You want to get the fresh sage because the, the dried sage, it just doesn't, doesn't have that same flavor. So we're just going to mix that all together now and give it about another 45 seconds before we add some more butter. Kind of get all those flavors nicely combined. I've got my butter nice and cubed. I just find it emulsifies the sauce a little bit better. So we'll just add a few cubes at a time until we get the desired consistency we want. This is about a half a pound of butter and I'll probably use most of that. So now that all the butter's melted, we're going to add the lemon juice and then we're going to check the seasoning. Um, a lot of the time the capers and the prosciutto carry enough salt so you don't need to over season it. Pretty good, we'll just add a little bit of salt and pepper, get a little bit more of that pepper from the bottom there. We're just going to head outside now that our sauce is done, we'll put it off to the side and we'll start grilling our salmon. Um, we're just going to start, I've got my oil, oiled salmon here seasoned up, we're going to drop it on the grill. It's probably going to take about four minutes, I'd like to do about two minutes on one side, turn it, do one minute on the, get a nice cross hatch on the top and then we're going to flip it over and we'll finish it on the skin side to get a nice crispy skin. So I'm just going to turn this halfway now. I'm going to keep it um, flesh side down because I always like to do the presentation side first. It gets a really nice clean finish on that and then we finish on the skin. That way it's going to cook it a little bit longer on the skin side and it's going to crispen it up really nice. So just a half turn is going to give you some really nice grill marks on there. So we'll let this sit for about another minute. And then we'll flip it over on the skin and finish it off. Okay, so you can see the fat starting to come through on the sides of the salmon now. That's a key indication that it's time to flip it for the last time. So we're just going to grab this, throw it over onto the skin. There, we got some nice marks, a good crisp on top. And we'll leave it here for about another two minutes probably it looks like. And then we'll be uh, ready to rest the fish. Um, and then eat it. It's very important to remember to rest your fish for about four or five minutes once you take it off the heat. That just lets that residual heat uh, redistribute the juices throughout the fish and it just gives it a nice clean finish.
Whenever I'm barbecuing the salmon, I always like to have my barbecue nice and hot. I find it gives it a really nice good sear on the outside and it keeps all that moisture locked inside. Okay, so the fish is uh, its looking like it's done now. It's got a nice crisp on the bottom skin. Uh, the fat striation is starting to come through and it's got a beautiful color. So we're going to pull this off. We're going to let it rest for a few minutes and then we're going to serve it. So now that our salmon, uh, it's been resting for about four minutes and our sauce has been sitting for a couple. So all those uh, flavors are going to be nicely uh, combined. We're just going to grab it. We're going to take about two or three tablespoons over top. And that's it. There you have it. So this is uh, barbecued salmon with a uh, salt and boca sauce. Please check out our website at murphysportfishing.com for more great recipes and fishing tips.